What was this? Dyed diesel fuel, non-taxable use only. <laughs> non-taxable? I'll have me some of that. I'm totally kidding about putting the uh, off-road in the truck the <laughs> I know some people probably don't know but it's the same stuff they just dye it off-road on-road diesel same stuff they just put the red dye in there and the reason for that is because you run taxed fuel on the road they tax you for that but then you're off-road I guess they're not maintaining that so they haven't started taxing that yet but so off-road from that pump going in here we're double dipping and we're trying something new with the big rig pump somebody mentioned this so we're gonna see if it'll work this here is just my little tank I could have had it filled today but I didn't so for the next tripping out she's gonna be full so actually I did have like 10 gallons in it but I'm tilted over pretty far come on 37 gallon transfer tank just a nice light one so emergency type of rig there's one thing, I always forget that thing, it seems like on the job, so. Ugh. Definitely don't forget that cap, because for one, you could kill somebody if that thing fell off your truck going down the road, it hasn't happened yet. But okay, so this is, uh, somebody said this, put a six by six underneath here, so I started off with my scotch block, that didn't help. Still does not work, I'll show you right here. Pull in or out. I can like barely get level one on there. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to put a couple more blocks on there. Trying to get her up. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try to drive up on that. This is getting ridiculous. The truck is literally lifted up like six, seven inches right there. Let's see if it'll work. Maybe I have to go turn this back on. I've been sitting a while. Nope, it still works. No, no go boys. Well guys, whoever said that the block idea underneath the tire would work, I'm sorry. She's not good. Come on, get out of there, Key. Okay, get this thing real straight, real quick here for you. The whole purpose of using the big rig pump is not to measure anything if you guys are wanting to measure stuff uh, do that on your own time in your own house don't measure me that's weird but the off-road pump is right here it is so much more convenient to fill the tank for off-road and fill my truck at the same time especially when i'm towing that because i have to zigzag that corner and the other yeah there's only one regular pump here that works the other one broke and they have not fixed it in like months so that didn't work so we're gonna go ahead and hit the road got 40 gallons in that 30 gallons in the transfer uh let's get these blocks i mean look at it i lifted it way up i think honestly we'd probably need some under the front too yeah yeah by the way it is 
7.12 right now. Just got back into town. Oh, well. That's how you close out a Thursday right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're still in low range because I drove up on those blocks. I was like, oh, geez. That's a little better. Closing out a Thursday with another fail on the big rig pump with my pickup. Ah, dang. Or with my flatbed pickup. People like to get that confused. Deep for a second, I'll let you hear that. Crap. Anyway, I saw in some other video or comment or something, uh, people are asking difference between off road diesel and on road. It's the same stuff, people. It's the same stuff. They just die it because uh, they can find you if you run that in your pickup. I might have run it and pick up. That's like an emergency type thing is, uh, in my case, pull out of the transfer tank, put it in your pickup. Uh, I think I've only actually done that once. Uh, we were a little bit off the beaten path and it was with my uh, 04 regular pickup. So it's not like a commercial type rig. So I don't know if that makes any bit of difference. Uh, my uncle back in the day, he bought a brand new Ferd Power Stroke because Dodge wouldn't cut him a deal on a brand new truck, but 96, he got a brand new power stroke, crew cab, long bed. It was kind of cool, I guess. But it had two tanks, because I guess Ford does that because, I, I don't know, maybe it's a backup tank in case the first one breaks or something, I don't know. But he lived on a long dirt road and he would, he would switch over to the off-road tank when he got on his dirt road if a cop ever, or whoever, I don't know who pulls you over for such a thing. But he would switch it over to the off-road when he was on the dirt roads and stuff because he was a logger. I thought that was kind of funny, but uh, he he probably just he probably just ran it all the time. To be honest with you, outlaw. <clears throat> oh oh, yellow light. Oh, made it. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, like I was saying, it's Thursday night. I just got back into town. And uh, 716, we're gonna roll through downtown right quick. I'll, go, I'll show you guys this Grass Valley. It's nothing, I mean, it's an old town, I would say. It's not like it's not modern or something, but people think it's kind of a neat little scenic route. You get tourists and stuff come through here. Lights turn to flashing red after seven hey this guy actually gave me room appreciate it bud oh we got some people taking photos oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> get it Anyway, so yeah, this is downtown. Uh, I pretty much just drive through here. I don't ever really eat here. We got a movie theater. And other than that, everything is really expensive right here. Amazon completely beats it. So there's no real point. Anyway, driving home. I hope I'm making something out of this video, trying to entertain you guys. I filmed like five videos today, but I didn't feel like any of them really constructed to anything. So I kind of abandoned ship on those. And uh, I wanted to try that block thing and that did not help at all. So tomorrow, Friday morning, when you guys are watching this, I will be at that demo for a bunch of equipment. So probably be a multi-part series. A couple of you guys said you might try and make it up there and hang out that'd be awesome if you guys came out and said what's up and ran some machines or whatever a little bit of machinery and a couple other outfits i think are not really putting it on but they're going to be there so 
uh, link and stuff, or not a link, but Global Machinery Instagram page. I'll put a caption of it or whatever right here at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see it and go check it out. If you guys are in the area and got free tomorrow, today was supposed to be a downpour. I said, hell, let's just work through it. Has not what has not rained one drop. So still didn't get much done though. It seems like half the day spent on maintenance and half the day spent on fueling and then, then it's time to go. <laughs> and we work somewhere in between there, I'm pretty sure. Progress is getting done, I guess. Seems like you guys always end up catching video of me just talking. If you guys like these videos, I got I filmed a big one this morning about my review on the new 64 millimeter VGT uh, cheater turbo that I have on this truck uh, it's about nine minutes of me just talking let me know comment below if you're interested in hearing that story if not I'll try to condense it but uh, for right now that is video for the future I guess Let's... What the hell? almost sound like I got a flat tire but anyway, comment below if you guys like to hear something like that. And then I got some video of the drive into that job this morning. Uh, and a guy drifting. That'll be in that video. But let me know. We'll uh, end this video right here. I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out vbeltandsun.com. Hats, jackets, and stickers available. Working on t-shirts. T-shirts should be soon. Uh, I've tested a couple of them. I like them. We just got to throw them into production. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.